Hey guys, welcome. Question often comes up, even on firearms forums, what ammo should I carry? I'm gonna handle 380 and nine millimeter right now. In other videos, I've talked about 12 gauge for the home and uh, 556223 quite a bit. So yeah, I have other videos on that. Look that up and look for my nine millimeter video. Right now I'm gonna cover the 380. Okay, so if you got a little pocket pistol like this Ruger LCP, what should you carry? Well, you have to be very, very specific with 380 because most 380s do not penetrate far enough unless you go to ball, in which case then you may have over penetration so, and no expansion and not a lot of damage. You're talking about a little pebble thrower here. This is only 125 to 128 foot pounds of energy versus this 350 to maybe 450 with this with the plus p plus pounds of energy so comparison 125 to 350 to 450 in nine millimeter 380 is just a little pebble thrower not that i want to get hit by them that's a straw man argument um it doesn't do a lot especially just with ball or any kind of screwdriver bullets that hydrostatically do nothing at such a low foot pounds of energy since the body's made up of mostly water anyway um anyway there is a clear winner and that clear winner is Anything with this 90 grain XTP bullet. I like the Fiocchi, but there's also other brands that use this XTP bullet. And the XTP bullet is a bullet that's known uh, with hunters and, and so forth as giving you deep penetration. And that's what the kind of puny cartridge of a 380 needs. Uh, and it gets that. It gets adequate penetration by FBI numbers. FBI penetration in gel, gel is not human, is 12 to 18 inches. This will meet that criteria. And there's your XTP uh, bullet there. So the XTP is the clear winner either by Fiocchi uh, by Hornady Custom, by Hornady American Gunner. You can probably find that cheap sometimes, even at the big box stores, or from Precision One. I like the Fiocchi because it penetrates a tad bit deeper than some of the others. Some of the others may be a little bit more penetration, a little higher velocity, or I'm sorry, a little bit more expansion due to tiny bit higher uh, velocity, things of that nature. I like the Fiocchi overall because I trust the brand and... Um, all their ammo is usually on the hotter side, being, uh, you know, Italian. So, if you got a pocket pistol also, things are very, very dependent on barrel length. So, some are 2.8, some are 3, some may be 3.2 inch barrels. You don't want something that might be good in a 3.2 inch barrel may be very bad and over penetrate, um, you know, with a 2.8 inch barrel or vice versa. So the number one by far is anything with an XTP bullet. Anyone that tells you one of the screwdriver type bullets, ARX or uh, Extreme Penetrator, extreme, uh, extreme Defense, any of those, they don't understand how things really work and that gel tears in a human body doesn't. It's made up of mostly water. It Gel does not simulate human flesh. Somewhat simulates pig flesh, but not human flesh. Okay, the XTP will give you the adequate penetration that you need. If you really want, bought those bullets already or whatever, you use them in your backup mag. In the extreme, the rare case, you might have to reload and be in an extended firefight with a little tiny pew pew pistol. Then that may make sense because they do give good penetration numbers. But no, are you, you are not going to get in real world the same amount of damage from an expanding hollow point that you do with any kind of screwdriver. Uh, otherwise, you would see every military in the world and law enforcement have, have already switched through it, especially because most militaries, not ours, sign the, the whole convention and can't use hollow points. Um, so, guys, there it is on the 380. Look for my other video on what 9mm ammo should I carry. And uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much.